Hey, Hugo House dudes. Uh, this is Steve Almond. I am uh, talking to you from my very, very glamorous subterranean lair. I wanted to suggest a prompt for those of you who are trapped inside and eager to make some good use of the time and anxiety that we have all been granted by this terrible pandemic. I hope everybody is staying safe and sane practicing social distancing and also keeping connected to your people. Um, this prompt is pretty basic. One of the things I find in my writing life and the writing life of the work that I see from students is that they have a lot of trouble writing what um, some other brilliant writer called the obligatory emotional scene. That is a scene where there's a lot of intense emotion. Part of that is because we try to steer away from that in our civilian lives. And we're, for understandable reasons, trying to keep an even keel and not let our emotional states get out of control. But actually, in our other lives as human beings, we oftentimes are the most alive and the most attentive when we're in an extreme emotional state. And the one relationship archetype or kind of relationship that almost depend, almost always plugs us in, in fact, always plugs us into an intense and exalted set of feelings is when you have a crush. A crush is the relational version of kind of doomed love, of the burden of hope colliding with the, you know, sort of crashing under the rocks of it's never going to happen. And everybody, fortunately or unfortunately or inevitably, has a wonderful crush or five lodged in their history. So here is your prompt, Hugo House Freaks. Go back in time and think about your first major crush. Could be a romantic crush, could be a crush on um, a, a, a sort of a surrogate parent type. It could be a crush on a friend. It could be a crush on a movie star or a singer um, or a literary figure, but just somebody who you thought about intensely, desired, coveted, um, and were very, very emotionally involved in, even though you knew that you probably were not going to get the same feeling back. Maybe even that was integral to, to the sense of connection was the impossibility of it, a sort of love as self-punishment. I want you to write about how that crush took root, what the rituals were that obtained around it, what the person, why the person was so crush worthy, um, and uh, ultimately whether you ever consummated or announced this crush, and if you did, what happened, and maybe even to a greater, if you can get to it, what do you think the crush meant? Oftentimes we get an intense crush in response to stuff that we're struggling with that doesn't really have to do with the crush, but gets projected onto the crush. So that's your assignment. You can write for 15 or 20 minutes, or if you get going, maybe longer than that. Just remember that love is the first and final form. Attention, I'm sorry. Attention is the first and final form of love. And when you crush on somebody, you're paying very hard attention to them. I want you to transcribe that attention and tell us all about it. All right. Stay safe, you guys. Bye.